Hello, friend, and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Steve Porter, Rochester, New York. The way to favor. In this self-centered, egotistical world we live in, it's easy to get caught up in the me-first mentality. Selfishness and pride seem to be the norm. Humility is often seen as weakness. But in the midst of this mess, God is raising up a leaning bride, one who has learned to place her full dependence on him. The Bible tells us in James 4, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. You see, the pathway to favor with God is not found in self-promotion nor arrogance. It's found in humility and lowliness of heart. It's about preferring others above yourself and walking in obedience to God's word. Philippians 2 puts it another way. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. This is the narrow road that the giants of the faith have walked before us. They've paved the pathway with soft footprints in their lives, leaving us an example to follow. Men like Moses, who was described as the meekest man on the face of the earth. Women like Mary, the mother of Jesus, who humbly submitted to God's plan for her life. Walking this path of humility, it's not easy. It goes against our natural inclinations and the pull of the world around us. It requires us to daily lay down our own desires and agendas to seek first the kingdom of God. The good news is that we don't have to do it in our own strength. As we lean on God and depend on his grace, he empowers us to walk in humility and obedience. He gives us the strength to prefer others above ourselves and to live for his glory rather than our own. And as we do, we find that the way of humility is the way of blessing. God's favor rests on those who humbly walk before him. He lifts them up in due time and uses them for his purposes. So my challenge to you today is this. Choose the path of humility. Lay aside your own ambitions and desires. Seek to honor God and serve others. Trust that as you do, God will pour out his favor and grace upon you in ways you never could have imagined. Remember, it's not about strutting our stuff or making a name for ourselves. It's about leaning on God, depending on his strength, walking in obedience to his word. That's the way to true favor and blessing in this life and the next. Heavenly Father, this word is it's so, it's so encouraging, but it's so instructive, isn't it, friend? It's so instructive. The way to favor is not to pray for favor. It's to, it's to lean on God. It's to humble ourselves. It's to trust in him. He empowers us as we lay down our lives in humility and obedience. It seems simple, but why is it so hard? Lord, I pray right now that my friend and I today, in your mighty name, we can walk lives that are meek, that are humility, that are obedient. Lord, I pray that we would lay aside our own ambitions, that we wouldn't strut our stuff, as our brother Steve says. It's funny. Lord, I pray that you would raise up a leaning bride and you would see chief in, in that company is my friend and I, who are fully dependent on you, trusting you. Lord, we don't ever want to say that you resisted us because we were proud, but Lord, we want the grace because we're humble. And I thank you, Lord, because of Jesus' finished work, because of the Holy Spirit in us, we are able to accomplish it. Help us to walk that out today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.